Hey there, thought I would take a quick moment to address a common question that I am often asked when I'm working with somebody and their dog. And that question is, is it okay if my dog sleeps in the bed with me? My answer to this question is almost always, well, it depends. I don't have a uh, personal problem with the dog sleeping in the bed. Um, my French Bulldog sleeps in the bed with my wife and I, so I don't have a problem with dogs sleeping in the bed in general. But it can be an issue if the dog has a problem when they are not allowed to sleep in the bed. So if a client asks me if, their dog, if it's okay if the dog can sleep in the bed with them, I usually ask them what happens if the dog sleeps in a crate or what happens if the dog sleeps outside the bedroom with the door closed. And if their answer is the dog whines or is pawing at the door or barking, then that lets me know there's probably some type of issue there, right? Probably some form of separation anxiety which isn't healthy for the dog. Because more than likely, you're not always going to be able to have your dog sleep with you, right? You may take a trip, um, you may stay at a friend's house, whatever it may be. Um, and then if the dog can't handle you being 10 feet away on the other side of a door, they're gonna have a real problem with you possibly being away from the home. So it's really important that we are always working on teaching our dogs how to cope with situations that they are going to encounter in life. So if your dog is having problems with not being able to sleep in the bed, then you want to work on that, whether it be crate training or get the dog comfortable by sleeping in the other room. And then you may transition your dog to sleeping in the bed maybe a couple nights at first and then outside of the bedroom um, or in a crate for the rest of the week. As your dog gets more and more comfortable, then you may transition the dog back into the bed more often. Um, so that would be a, a, one of the main situations in which I would say, okay, let's get the dog out of the bed because it's adding to separation anxiety. Another thing that I sometimes will see is a dog guarding the bed. So, uh, and if the dog is guarding the actual bed from you, uh, then I would go ahead and recommend removing that trigger right off the start. You probably need to get help with a uh, professional trainer. Um, an example with this, I've seen uh, the dog sleeps in the bed with the owner, the owner maybe gets up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom and comes back and the dog would not let them back in the bed. Um, this may sound kind of crazy to you possibly, but if you've ever been around a lot of dogs or have a dog that um, is a resource guarder, you may have noticed this yourself. Alright, that's it for this video. I'll see you in another one.